Hello everyone, I'm Louis Selden, tracking expert at Taggers, and today I want to show you how to track purchases in Shopify after 13th, 13th of August. So as you can see, um, purchase event and at shipping, begin checkout, at pay payment info are all coming in um, correctly in GA4, in uh, real-time reports. You can also see it in our preview mode of our uh, server container. And these events are coming in correctly. Um, why am I showing you this? Um, from 13th of August, this will be not available anymore. So we cannot add our GTM tracking code to our um, checkout.liquid file as we were used to. But from that moment, we will have to add it as customer events. We, have, we will have to listen to custom events and make our data layer from that. Luckily, with uh, taggers, we have made a taggers app that makes this really easy for you. I will show you how to do this. So you can go to the Shopify store and download our taggers app. It's this one. I already installed it because it takes some time to, um, to work correctly. So if I open it, we'll go to our app. Here it, you will get asked to enter your Google Tag Manager code. This is the code of your web container. So this is this one. You can just copy it and paste it here. If you have server-side tracking, then you can also add your subdomain for the enhanced tracking script. This will make sure that you even circumvent uh, more ad blockers. This enhanced tracking script, you can find it in your server container, admin, container settings, and it's this url that you can use um, then you can choose what events you want to track um, standard it's all selected what it what's also correct then you save settings and then one more thing you have to do you have to go to check setup and um, follow these three steps so first one is to enable taggers in shop team as you can see this is a taggers app, you have to enable it and save and you can quit it. And the second thing you have to do is copy your tracking script. So this tracking script, we have to copy it and then go to our customer events page to add our custom pixel. I have already done this, but I will add a new one just to show you. So we will make a data layer with this. So we can paste this and what this will do this code will listen to certain customer events like checkout completed or payment info submitted and it will push it to the data layer as you can see here i will not um, save it but if i would save it you have to save it and then connect that's it now we will just delete it So then it should look like this, like status connected. If that is, a ha if it shows like, shows like this, then it's correct. So now we will show you how this works in Google Tag Manager. So the taggers app will inject GTM scripts and data layer in all events um, besides the uh, checkout page and this means that we can go in preview mode and everything besides the checkout page as well so we will show you this and this is a view item list that's not showing now this is view item events and view item list as well this is still visible in the preview mode add to cart as well it's all visible but the moment we go to checkout page It's not visible anymore. We cannot go into preview mode of our checkout page, but the data layer is still available. We cannot see it in preview mode, but it is still there. So we have to um, we have to trust it that that it's there. Um, and I can show you. I can preview this because I have set up 
um, a GA4 tag that forwards all events to our server container. So you see every event and it triggers on all events. This is like some regex code to trigger on every event. So I will go in preview mode of our server container and our web container. So as you can see, you will see every event entering our server container. So view item, GTM load, initialization, container loaded, etc. And then we, when we go to buy now, we will see in our preview mode web container, it's not visible, but in our preview server container, it will be. It takes some time, but it will be visible at ah, here it is it's visible we can check out even though it's not visible in the web preview mode it is still visible in the uh, server preview mode let's check what event data we have hmm. um, then when we go to continue to do the purchase products complete order voila and if everything is good we see a purchase event as well add payment info comes a bit later um, but this is not uh, a bad thing so what you can see nothing has entered here but here it is so everything is working correctly um, just an new way that uh, Shopify pushes on how to track events in the checkout page. Um, it is hard though to set up everything correct if you cannot go into preview mode. And that's why we have our template gallery. So we have our template gallery here. And we have a Shopify e-commerce advanced Shopify. And like this, you can download um, all tags for web container and for server container. They are not up to date yet with our, with our new taggers app, but they will be next week. So then you can just um, download the files, unzip it. You will see you have a web and a server container, and then you can simply example for the web container simply import this container choose the correct file this one and everything will be fine everything will work correctly according to the data layer that we just implemented with the taggers app um, for the server container you can do the same so this is it for now if you have any questions please uh, put it in the comments we are happy to answer them and I hope this was an insight video and will help you a lot.